today we're going to be talking about adding polynomials and subtracting them. First of all, to add polynomials, we have two steps. The first thing is to place like terms together and then add the like terms. For example, add 2x powered by 2 plus 6x plus 5 and 3x powered by 2 plus 2x minus 1. So first of all, we start by writing them all beside each other, like this. And then we place the like terms with together, just like here. Those Both of them have um, x powered by 2, so we place them together. And here, both of them have x, and then those are just normal numbers, so we post them together. Um, so this is how it's going to look. And then we're going to add all this. So we're going to add this. We're going to add this. And we're going to add this. And we're going to add this. So this is how it's going to be. It's going to turn out. Here, 2 plus 3, that's 5. So 5x squared. And 6 minus 2 is 4. So 4x. And then here, 5 minus 1, so it's 4. Here's an animated example. Okay, so as you see, here they did the same thing that we did over here. So they just put the like terms together and then they added them. Subtracting polynomials is exactly the same, but the only difference is this minus. When you see like this minus in front of a bracket, with numbers inside of it, automatically all the numbers inside change signs. So if this was positive, it's going to become negative 2y squared. If this is positive, it's going to become negative. If this is negative, it becomes positive. You just turn it. Let's play the example. So this is how you solve subtracting polynomials. Let's try adding some. So here we have negative k powered by 3 minus 7k powered by 2 and then plus 5k. And all this would be plus 6k squared plus 3k. Let's write that down here. So negative 2k powered by 3 minus 7k squared plus 5k. And then we're just going to write the rest, which is plus 6k squared plus 3k. So as I said before, we need to add the similar terms together. So here, for the negative 2k, 2k powered by 3, there's no other term that has negative 2k powered, that has a k powered by 3, so we're just going to um, write it down here all alone okay and then plus 
plus and then we're just gonna go ahead and look for the others so here we have negative 7k squared we have another k squared which is with the 6 so we're gonna add them together so negative 7k squared and then plus 6k squared and then over to the next one which is 5 k we have 3k as well so we're going to add those together so it's going to be 5 plus 3 and then k um here we we're not going to write those just going to write it here on the side so k2 because if you wrote it like this, then we're going to have to add the polynomial. So it's going to be like k forward by 4, which is not right. So we just write the k on the side. Okay. So now we're going to have negative 2k3 and then plus. So... You just have to write that down on the calculator. So negative seven plus six, which is gonna turn out to be negative one. So minus one. If if there's um, if you have a one, you don't need to write it. Just write. So we're just gonna write k powered by two. Because it's 1 and k is basically 1. Okay, so plus. Here we have 5 plus 3, which is going to be 8, and then we write the k. So this is the answer. Let's write it down there. Okay, so now let's go here and see if our answer is correct. So here we have negative 2k powered by 3 and then minus k powered by 3 powered by 2, sorry. And then here we have plus 8k. That was correct. Okay, next question. Um, this is plus 2, so let's just skip it. Actually, let's move on to quizzes. So here. Here we need to subtract. Okay. So add or subtract to simplify. 4x squared plus x minus x powered by 2 minus 2x. So as I told you, if there's a negative, then we're going to have to change the signs of these. So this is going to be negative x squared and this is going to be plus 2x. So, here, let's write this down. So, we're going to have 4x squared plus x minus x squared plus 2x. Let's go ahead and solve this together. So here we're going to have 4x squared plus x 
minus x squared plus 2x. Okay, so here for the like terms, we have 4x squared and then we have negative x squared. So we're just going to go ahead and add those together. So 4x squared minus x squared, which is going to turn out to be 4x squared. It's going to take away 1, so basically it's going to be 3x squared. And then here we have x uh, plus 2x, which is going to be, let's write it down first, x plus 2x, 3x. So our answer is 3x squared plus 3x. That's right. Okay. Let's try another uh, expression. So let's actually skip this. It's going to be a long one. So okay, we have plus here. That's perfect. So. Of course, here we have the same procedure. So we have 5x and 4x. You don't, you don't even need to write this down. It's simple. You just add them together and figure out what's the answer. So 5x plus 4x, that's, that's going to be 9x. So it's either this or this. So here we have 2 minus Five. So two minus five. That's going to be minus three. So this is the answer. Okay. Let's move on here. So here we need to subtract as well. So as you know, this is going to be negative x, and this is going to be minus five. So 6x minus x is going to be 5x. And there we have uh, plus 8 minus 5, which is going to be 3. So basically, this is going to be plus 3. Here we have something quite similar. So 9m squared plus, plus 1, and then all that is plus 27m squared. This is the same thing. So 9m squared plus 7m squared will be... 16m squared, so let's just write that down, and then it's going to be plus 1, that's right, okay, so now let's move on to here, let's solve a question over here. So first of all, let's delete all this. Okay. So for our question, we're going to have two questions. One's going to be adding and one is going to be subtracting. So for the adding one, let's, let's write here. Question one. So we're going to have bracket 5x plus 2 and then plus 
brackets 4x minus 5. Okay, so let's solve this. You, for starters, you might need to write this down all beside each other, but if you get the hang of it, you're just gonna add those two in your mind and then write the answer, which is gonna be 9x. And then those two, which is gonna be minus three. So this is the answer for this one. It's quite simple. Um, if you want to write it down together, you can just write 5x plus 2 plus 4x minus 5, and then just add those together, and then add. Okay, so for question 2, which is subtracting polynomials we're gonna have brackets 4x squared plus x and then we're gonna have minus x squared minus 2x it's gonna be in bracket this is the exact same one I just did, but here I'm just going to show you it, show you it um, exactly how to do it. So here we're going to just write 4x squared plus x. And then here, if you remember, whenever you see this in front of a bracket, you just take the sign of each term and turn it so not turn it's basically like change it so if we had x squared which is a positive x squared it's going to be negative x squared and then here we have negative 2x it's going to be plus 2x so basically you just change the sign if there's a negative in front of it so here we have, let's write this, so 4x powered by 2 minus x squared equals. So obviously the x is resembles uh, 1, so it's, it's like you're saying 4 minus 1. So obviously this is going to be 3, and then we're going to write the x squared and then for the other one which is x plus 2x as i said in the last one x resembles a one so it's going to be 3x and we're going to the answer is going to be 3x squared plus 3x it's simple um, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Uh,